Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a new tool for generating questions from just about any article or text that you find. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's called Question Well, and you'll find it at questionwell.org. And I'm already signed into my free account, and here's how it works. Now, you can take some text that you already have written and paste it in, or you might do something like this and say, well, I found an article on the BBC by the International Monetary Fund, and I'm going to put that in as my subject, my topic and subject up there. And then I'm gonna take the link to the article and paste that in. And now I'm going to generate a set of questions about that article. So here we can see we now have a list of questions. And you can see here, there's some learning objectives that it's pulled out for me. There's some essential equest, some essential questions it's pulled out for me. And we can see all these questions over here on the right hand side. And it even shows the correct answers for them as well. Now I can select them all if I want, or I can say I want to select a few of these. Maybe I'll select every other one here as I go down the list. And I'll select that one there. And now that I've selected them, I can export them, including the answers or without the answers. I'll include the answers. And I can export it to a document or any of these other tools that you see listed there, including quizzes and Kahoot. Now, when you do so with Quizzes and Kahoot, you'll see that it creates a spreadsheet for you and the same with GimKit and Booklet. But I'm gonna just export that as a document. It's now downloaded it for me and I can open up that document right there in Microsoft Word. Now, as a reminder for Google Docs users, you could also import that docx file into your Google Drive and use it as a Google Doc if you want as well. So that's a short overview of Question Well, and shout out to Tony Vincent for sharing this on Facebook on his Learning in Hand page. As always, for more things like this, please visit practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.